everyone, thanks for tuning in and watching Christian Adventure Gamer. I'm your host, Daniel the Paladin. Uh, today I'm going to be playing some more Midnight Suns. Last time we encountered Venom. I'm not sure who we're going to encounter today because obviously this is my first time going through this game. Let me give a quick plug in on the Tabletop Adventure Game Fest, uh, which is happening just in a couple days here in Warsaw, Indiana. It's uh, September 30th, 2023. Uh, if you are into Magic the Gathering, uh, TCB Games will be hosting uh, some events there where it's like... Um, uh, drafts. There's three different draft types. There's a, a half half prize pool. I'm not sure what that means. There's a win a box, and then there's an event where you win two packs per uh, win. And they're doing a, a Mox Diamond CEDH tournament, uh, where the top prize is the Mox Diamond, um, which they have to have at least 25 players for that to happen. Um, but if they don't and even if they still do, the top eight players do get packs of the Lord of the Rings set. Uh, and then they also are doing like a pre-release kits that they have left over as well. Um, they're also running some Lorcana events. They're doing Porcana, which uh, with Porcana it's commons only. And they're doing Street Rat Lorcana where it's commons and uncommons only. So I think that's kind of neat. Uh, Nick Debus uh, games are going to be doing Lorcani events, Pokemon events, Yu-Gi-Oh events, so there's going to be a lot to do. Board game library is going to be there, right? So it's just, it's just come on down if you have a chance, you're going to be in the area. Woo! Let's get started. Alright, so I feel like I must have slept, because uh, maybe I didn't, I don't know. So I got to touch. Let's go to my bed. Can I get in my bed? Let's get in my closet. There was never enough room for my armor in this thing. That's a little nasty. Eh, that looks good enough. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. We were all so happy then. Agatha and Sarah the Hound, huh? past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. 
To these people, you are a being of myth and legend, a grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I am sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Hmm, that name. I wonder if she plays a part in here. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the forge. I think he has another book. my ferocious Charlie girl. <laughs> Alright, so what's Nico say? on map faster. It's just M. get his armor back on. scare that easily. I don't get it. Strange couldn't just magic his way in? Something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo. That explains so much. No wonder he gets so strange around me. See what I did there? 
Not that it makes any difference to me, but I think Tony's waiting for you, Hunter. He seemed excited. Do I look like a Tony? <sighs> this is gonna be a fun apocalypse. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Mm. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. Just came out of the fire, won't it be hot? I still think I could have used a cloak. I think it looked good on a cloak. Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and, well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? <clears throat> you lost much yesterday, Doctor. I am the one who should be asking you how you are feeling. I appreciate that, Hunter. I admit I did not expect the child of Lilith to have the capacity for such empathy. And you're right, of course. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. Oh, I don't have multiple chances to save things. It sounds like, like I, I get one shot. Seen this outcome one chance. Out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. A 
creature on the roof. You have run into it before. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. Sounds like Spider-Man is Venom's nemesis. Maybe he has some insight. Of course. I have no doubt Spider-Man will prove to be an invaluable asset in the ongoing fight against both Venom and Lilith. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago, involving Agatha. I feel like everyone is avoiding mention of Agatha. I can't say I'm surprised, but I'm afraid it's really not my place. You should speak to Sarah about her when you're ready. Tell me about your Sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Sanctorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. Will the wards ever provide the same protection that they have? It may be possible to undo the damage, but now that a weakness has been exposed, I'll have to rethink my approach entirely. Tony did offer a military-grade laser protection grid, should I be so inclined to go that route. Let us talk later. Visit no every option. Like. It's but not often I get to converse going. with a true legend. That'd be cool for Anna to Wolverine. To admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon Man. neutral? Language, sir. Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You so he says something, but he doesn't have the body you gestures what, to go with 300 it. Years so this close without your eternal using rest? fingers? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. So it is a marvel, then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future hmm. upgrades. Nice. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. The Mandarin. Huh. Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! But on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic. Cats. <laughs> Was it suspiciously elusive, even for a cat? Actually, yes. Thought I was going crazy there for a second, but clearly I'm still firing on all cylinders. It just poofed in next to me out in the yard. Small, black, furry. Cute little thing. Probably some kind of shape-shifting monster knowing this place.
Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? I might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. <laughs> At least they did before everything changed. I cannot help but feel partially responsible. Well, I wouldn't take it personally. We were detecting changes in both magic and science months before you woke up. But yeah, things have definitely hit high gear since then. What sort of things are you doing in here? Oh, that's right. You were out a while. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. Sounds insane, but sometimes it's easier to just go with it. <laughs> okay. So, why not magically create a way through that symbiote shield? Have you ever known it to work that way? We can't just wish upon a star here. We need to know what we're making first, and put together the right components. Otherwise, I'd have already whipped up Strange a new personality. <laughs> you must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military-industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. I was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. Okay, Batman. I guess we have all had difficult childhoods here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, the other thing I can tell you how hard it was to find all it. that at Scroll Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. Or am I? Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek, and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there, and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Whoa! Thought you were a ghost for a second. You aren't, are you? That is something. Intriguing. Interesting. More of a Agamotto. Hmm. Where is this anvil? I'll ever say, where is this anvil at? Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, hmm. I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here, and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? I'm pretty All sure right. Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. 
third state of matter, indeed. This never goes a Wow. Take your pick, Hunter. Uh, this seems to make the most sense here, but I go with this. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't mm. listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. I learn faster if I understand the person who trains me. I can respect that. Go ahead. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Why did you join? Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. Is that all? No, but that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. Huh. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. Oof. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people. Easy going. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Who else? What do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. When does she let people in? At her own pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Anybody else? Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. Hmm. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart. And that's why we let her. Anybody else? Tell me what you think of Sarah. Well, there are few people I tolerate, even less who I like. Sarah, I respect. She sees the big picture, and we're a part of it. I'd follow her to hell if I had to. And from what I understand, we may have to. I am surprised she commands such respect. I'm surprised that you're surprised. You know what she's like more than any of us. I do. Anybody else? Nobody else. Sure. Do you have any thoughts on the team as a whole? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith poses to this world. Mm, and I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get us through it. Speaking of training, we doing this, or are we gonna keep wasting daylight? Ouch. I had more questions. Of course you do. Can I ask about you? I guess. How 
did you become a Dampir? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. <laughs> is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... Really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child the Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, the hunter. But I only share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. I don't want to know this. Thanks, Blade. Mm hmm. Sure. Caretaker could have at least left me a chair. Practice makes perfect. The way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. Uh, you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Going a Avengers few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them if need be. A uh, quantum what? You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Hey. Think Doctor Strange knows Merlin? I'm <laughs> still waiting for someone to take this sword. All right, then. Oh, 
Aw, oh, come on, will let me in the pool? Yes? You have problem? I get longer of the pool? Really? That's weird. Yeah, I needed that. Did you now? Probably time to head out, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The gamma signature is... Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say gamma? Yes, get... Uh, hang on a second. Come on, Tony. You managed to stream the Super Bowl to a Kree battleship 50 light years out. This should be easy. Oh, we waited all year for that game, and you know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Well, can't you just... Ugh, I don't know. Work my magic again? See, that's the problem. This time I am working with actual magic, and let me tell you, it sucks. Hmm. Ow. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the Gamma Signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, I'm still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> we should be able to track this new Gamma Signature to its source then, right? I do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that Old data like Grillins. What exactly is a central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive encryption, net transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah. Well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Mm. Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse. In the bad guy part of town. Bad guy. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. That's weird. Find me when you're ready. Mm. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology. And she kicks it. As long as we're going to be working in the streets of New York, Blade is among your best advisors. His knowledge of the city's underbelly is unrivaled. It was just recently... If I have to... Stark's holographic monstrosity better not scratch my table. I can't just hop over to it. Limbo portal. Trench coat, sunglasses at night, breathing personality. Ooh, we gotta meet today. Let's go out to the nice little world here and just uh hurry up. Gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse, so we'll be patching Dr. Banner through.
much abandoned off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Hydro. Oh, Ooh, that guy. Faustus now. Dr. Faustus. Smartest fanatic in the room. It's a small room. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. <laughs> Pajama. I'm gonna need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. Oh boy, oh boy. I always considered Faustus a bit of a crackpot, but his fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. one to buy into the science of magic but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore there are more things in heaven and earth Horatio you know you're talking to a vampire an alien hybrid and a resurrected demon of your right you're lucky to still be breathing
see why so many fear your strength. The rate of decay within the particles themselves. How else could it be achieved? Oh, sounds like Hank, yield? not Bruce. I don't know, Bruce. Hank Pym. Be sure to ask him when we're done punching out the bad guys. Not a problem. Great time zone. Sounds to me like they just missed their mop. Double KO. These guys nice. got their tactics from the back of a magazine. Go, no, now, quickly! Let's go, go, go! Perfect opportunity to field test mother's device. What's going on? Cargo they're attempting to escape with. Is that all? Keep some for the rest of us. Let's do it. You really want to keep doing that? They're hoping to wear me down. 
Preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you. There is dark magic at work here. You must not let Hydra escape with it. One less thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. is on our side. That should help. Taking these guys out. Take advantage while they focus on me. Faustus's experiment or track potential future variance gamma signatures without a baseline resonance sample from his initial occult catalyst. Got it. Stop the truck. Maybe you should teach me that one. I'm a glutton for punishment. Uh oh. This is not gonna be good. Uh oh. He needs to heal. Oh man. I need to get rid of that guy. Ah, these delays can be quite frustrating. Infuriating, even. By now, I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. I'm on Well, that's exciting.
these two. Okay, well. Just what I need. Here we go. Thing good. He might not make it. Damn, if I don't hate fanatics. I have to admire your persistence. I'm used to being outnumbered. All right, so let's do this. Weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. Got me good this time. Show off for me, Blake. Watch this. We're still doing this. Some help here. Not bad. Still 
a lot of KO. Never seen that oh. before. That was something. once before. bad guy crate very spooky designed to contain powerful magic be careful mm, be e careful it. be careful don't be cross e the careful. streams never do don't How cross the streams really the no see for ourselves what next frozen nice out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking <laughs> is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. Man. You know what they say, all work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on, you should hang out. should rest another time that's weird let me see how did this work again finding ways to say open door around here and despite what Robbie says I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven blood magic stuff cool room spacious so oh, I don't, I'm not familiar with Charlie? this character from the comics yes so if you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech I'm immune just ask later, Magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff. Or 
quasi-human. <laughs> You're a Midnight Sun now. One of us. Nico, I was just hydra-bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She... Never mind. I wonder if we'll get her back. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge. Or maybe crack open the casket of Agent Winters a little bit? Huh. These Something tells me you don't have a favorite movie. Well, we can start you out with one of my favorites. Video game controllers on the coffee table. I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected, chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. Mm. Lilith gave birth to me, but Caretaker was my true mother. Right, so your adoptive mom raised you to kill your birth mom. <laughs> You'll fit in perfectly. Uh, enough about her crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So. The first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. Can we do it again? So, what did you think of the movie? I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries. I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Dreamt, huh? Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. Yeah, I yeah, know yeah. it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... I think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. <laughs> Then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one? Or who were the runaways? Huh. I had some questions about your old team. The runaways? That's where she's from. Sure thing. The runaways. Were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. What did you do? We ran. But eventually, we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods, so we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. Mm. You know, typical kid stuff. Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert... She, uh, she 
didn't make it. After Gert uh. passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. Aw, uh, sad. Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear, Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse, Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The staff of one interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. Hmm, interesting. Can you tell me how the staff of one functions? It's, uh, blood magic, so my own blood is required to summon it. You wouldn't believe how many adhesive bandages I go through each year. Hmm. What about the words you speak? They come true. Uh, kind of. And not always the way I expect. It's like making a wish, but you can never make the same wish again. Hmm. I had some questions about your staff. Go for it. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. I only use the staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. Hmm. Alright, I should go. I should get going. Uh, good, good timing. Um, looks like caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. Uh, let's go to I'm bed. glad to see you using your free time productively. It's a. Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but. Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. Hmm. The world is still full of monsters and villains. My mother being the worst of them all. You forgot heroes. The world is still full of heroes, though sadly, we're missing one of our best. Agatha. Where is Agatha? I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know... Agatha... She's no longer with us. What's up with that? What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce. Indomitable, or maybe just kind to a fault. Hmm. The loss could not have been easy for you. Thank you for that, but it's not just my loss. It's all of ours, and what makes this loss even harder to accept is that it was completely avoidable. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. Mm. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Was it? Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken. 
as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away to the Sanctum Sanctorum to study under Doctor Strange. It's your fault, then, I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. I do not envy you. That must have been a difficult decision. It's my job to make tough calls. I'm not popular for it, I know. But strong leadership requires risking being unliked. <sighs> Wanda. Agatha. It seems we have lost them both now. Hmm. I can't well, yeah, believe that one of them is still Agatha's there. Memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. All right, so where am I going now? It's a dog. Oh man. I think I'm just gonna stop here. Confirm. And then boom. We go back. Back. Uh and quit game. Alright, see you guys next time.